mystery of stuff. The typical alpha male. Ever since he shot to fame with a much talked about role in 1991's Thelma and Louise, he's been at the forefront of film. And the fact that he's frequently voted one of the most attractive men in the world doesn't hurt matters either. But despite the spotlight being so frequently on him, there's one detail about his life almost everybody missed. Now, it's all to do with Pitt's romantic relationships. Unsurprisingly, he's been linked with quite a lot of women over the course of his life, and he's dated plenty of Hollywood ladies, including Juliette Lewis, Fanny Newton, Christina Applegate, Gina Davis, and Gwyneth Paltrow. What's more, it's safe to say his love life gets plenty complicated sometimes. Yes, Pitt was part of a famous and very highly publicized love triangle in the 2000s. For one, he married actress Jennifer Aniston in the year 2000, and for a while they were seen as a golden couple. Pitt even guest starred in Aniston's smash hit sitcom Friends, jokingly playing a character who hated hers. But in 2005, they divorced, amid rumors another woman was involved. That other woman was allegedly Angelina Jolie, Pitt's co-star in Mr. and Mrs. Smith and she too was considered one of the best-looking celebrities in the world. Though Jolie firmly denied that she and Pitt had been intimate while he was still married, the damage was done. Funnily enough, retailers sold Team Aniston and Team Jolie t-shirts to capitalize on the story. But at least Brangelina were set for happier times, right? Well, after two years of engagement, Pitt and Jolie married in 2014 and settled down with eventually six kids. And the couple dubbed Brangelina seemed to have it all. But suddenly, and shockingly, news broke that they were divorcing. As often happens in such cases, irreconcilable differences was the reason given, and Jolie wanted custody of the children. At the time, there were rumors that Pitt had cheated on Jolie with another co-star, Marion Cotillard. Now, both of them had starred in the spy thriller Allied in 2016. Although Cotillard was quick to deny this, Page Six claimed a hired investigator had caught Pitt out during filming, but still the actress denied the affair. Later on, insiders indicated that Brangelina had fought over the parenting of their children. After some media investigation, it appeared that an incident with the eldest Pitt Jolie child, Maddox, might have led to the split. Allegedly, Pitt had been drunk on board the private family plane and a row had taken place and Jolie had even gotten Child Protective Services involved. However, as later reported by The Telegraph in November 2016, the FBI confirmed it would not file charges against Pitt. This follows its own review of the incident. Following the divorce, Pitt's love life seemed to flounder somewhat. For instance, he was linked with several women, including Kate Hudson, Sienna Miller, and Charlize Theron. At one point, there were even stories that he might be trying to make it work with Aniston again for she herself had recently split with Justin Thoreau. But no, they were strictly amicable exes. Is there a single aspect of Brad Pitt's romantic life which hasn't been endlessly dissected in the media? Well, as it turns out, yes. In July 2018, Twitter user Sarah McGonigal posted an old news headline reading, Brad, the man who likes to look like his girlfriend. And she turned that concept into a thread that went viral. Indeed, the newspaper clip of Pitt looking quite similar to women he was dating kicked off a giant domino effect online. For it seemed that whenever Pitt began seeing a new girlfriend, his hair and outfits would suddenly change to match hers. And humorously, there were no shortage of evidence. First off, take Pitt's relationship with Gwyneth Paltrow. That's right, the two of them were massively popular during the 1990s and were even engaged to be married. During that time, they appeared to dress in the same way and with the same colors. They even wore matching sunglasses. But looking back, there's one thing above all others that could cause hysterics. You guessed it, Pitt's haircut suddenly shifted to match Paltrow's, and it was quite some sight. When she got a cute pixie cut, he began showing off the male equivalent, and with them continuing to wear similar outfits and even sport the same expression, they almost looked unsettlingly twin-like. However, it was claimed that there was an innocent enough explanation for the look. Yes, one person on the Twitter thread claimed, I met Brad while he was working with Gwynny's dad, Bruce. To be fair, Brad had the super short hair for seven years in Tibet, and Gwyneth had cut her hair for sliding doors around the same time, but later than Brad. That doesn't explain the outfits, though. Pre-Paltrow, 
Pitt was involved in a serious relationship with actress Jill Sholin. In 1989, he asked her to marry him, and they too dressed in a similar way, right down to matching hats. Who knows what they would have worn to the wedding? Well, we'll never know, because of course she left him for another man. Even Brad Pitt gets rejected sometimes. But the odd heartbreak aside, Pitt has been very lucky when it comes to dating women. In 1994, he took Czech model Zsika Polotic to the Legends of the Fall premiere. Now, Pitt's hair at the time was bleach blonde, but it was also long, just like Polotic's. Judging by her expression in the photo, though, she approved. Separately on the viral thread, someone pointed out that Pitt and Aniston got matching highlights when they married. And certainly, they seemed to sync their hairstyles as their relationship progressed. Plus, they wore cute matching black suits when they went to the Golden Globes in 2002. Yes, it seems his and her outfits haven't gone completely out of fashion. It's generally assumed that by 2004, Pitt's marriage with Aniston was in trouble. For it was that year in May that he started filming Mr. and Mrs. Smith alongside Jolie. In a picture from October 2004, Aniston and Pitt are dressed in a very similar jeans and black jackets, but their expressions are also identical. They don't look very happy. And after that came the pictures of Pitt with his second wife, Jolie. During the time he was in a relationship with her, he also appeared to get matching highlights. And that wasn't all, he would sometimes wear his hair exactly like hers. If hers was loose, so was his. If hers was up in a ponytail, likewise. Sometimes when on the red carpet, Pitt and Jolie would sync their outfits too. For instance, at the British Academy Film Awards in 2014, they wore matching tuxes. Granted, matching clothes is a thing Jolie seems to like as well. Indeed, often when she's out and about with her children, they even dress alike. That covers Pitt's most well-known wives and girlfriends, but what about his lesser remembered ones? Apparently, his matching look tendency goes back a very long way. For instance, on the Twitter thread, a photo of Pitt and his high school girlfriend, Sarah Hart, was unearthed. And in that, they wore the same clothes, the same shaggy hair, same wide smiles. And back in the 1980s, Pitt was photographed with Dallas actress Shalane McCall, who'd given him his first on-screen kiss ever. Now, it's not known if they were together romantically, hopefully not, since she was 15 and he was 24, but Brad did look a little like her at the time. Maybe they were friends. After all, Pitt seems to dress like his friends quite a bit too, and adjust his hairstyle to suit theirs. For instance, he's had a long-standing friendship with fellow A-lister George Clooney, and people on the Twitter thread pointed out how similar the two men look sometimes. There's one picture of the two men wearing what not only looks like the same tux, but the same expression. Overall, though, social media users were delighted to uncover such a trend about Pitt. There were jokes and memes galore. For example, one person wrote, the Paltrow one is my favorite, although the one with Aniston looks like you could do a face swap and not notice. And after that message, users were rewarded with just that, a Photoshop face swap. Another person wrote, he's like Julia Roberts in Runaway Bride with the eggs. In that movie, Roberts' character only eats eggs in the same way as whatever guy she's with does. She explains that she's only ever had what he's having. Perhaps Pitt likes to have what she's having. Intriguingly, though, some folks dropped in to say that Pitt's behavior wasn't that unusual. One person said, It's human nature. Look at non-celebrity couples and you'll see they tend to have a lot of similarities as well. Another claimed that couples usually looked alike while single people were more likely to look like their dog. Unsurprisingly, however, there were also people who were bemused or not impressed by the idea of Pitt matching his girlfriends. The words creepy and weird came up a few times, for example. One person referenced movie Single White Female, where a woman freaks out her roommate by suddenly dressing like her. But some others brought up a condition Pitt had once declared he had. A Twitterer questioned, is this somehow related to his claims to have facial blindness? To find his significant other in a crowd, he just looks for the same hairdo and clothes and that's probably the girl of the moment? Pitt has indeed spoken about that before. In 2013, Pitt described his apparent disorder to Esquire, saying, so many people hate me because they think I'm disrespecting them, not remembering their faces. You get this thing like, you're being egotistical, you're being conceited, but it's a mystery to me, man. I can't grasp a face, and yet I come from such a design aesthetic point of view. I'm going to get it tested. After Pitt's words on the subject, some scientists took an interest. Face blindness is indeed a known condition, albeit a fairly recently discovered one. 
It's referred to sometimes as prosopagnosia. Some people who have it, and it could be one in 50 who do, can hardly even recognize their own face. But also, maybe Pitt just enjoys dressing up similar to his partner, and he wouldn't exactly be the first one. Famously, Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears wore matching outfits to the American Music Awards in 2001, and they really went all out. She wore a denim gown, he wore a denim jacket and hat. And more recently, Kanye West and Kim Kardashian have seemed to sync their outfits more often than not. Sometimes it's for fashion, such as when they dressed in metallic outfits for the Manus e Machina, fashion in an age of technology met ball. But sometimes it seems to just be what they want to wear. After the pit post went viral, McGonagall talked to BuzzFeed about it. She'd actually used a 2000 newspaper clip by British tabloid The Daily Express to start things off. She said, Looking at the extent that Brad goes to, whether consciously or not, to sync up with his partners physically is something I haven't seen in a lot of couples. Not everyone will dedicate their hair follicles to you. But why exactly do people, be they celebrities or not, choose to dress like their partners? Well, in 2016, the Huffington Post Australia decided to ask psychologist and human sexuality expert Dr. Nikki Goldstein. And she said, we tend to want to fit in with the person we're dating. Yes, we're all unique, but we want to, as a couple, look united as if we fit. Dr. Gonsi went on, you conform to the environment that you're in. So it's only natural that when you're dating someone, even automatically without knowing, you'll start to change your style so that you blend in with them. The same thing could potentially happen with coworkers too. Yes, as the psychologist continued to explain, you're attracted to your partner for a reason. And by being in a relationship with them, you're indirectly saying, I like the way you do things. But she also had a note of caution about what could happen if people started to purposely dress like their partners. Goldstein added, the challenge is being aware and ensuring those core things about you have a place in the relationship. If it gets to the point where you've lost your sense of identity, then you have to wonder whether you're taking on these attributes because you're really great as a couple or because you so desperately want for the relationship to work that you need to change everything about yourself to fit in so it does. In 2018, the men's magazine Mel published an article in response to McGonagall's viral tweet, and it praised Pitt for twinning with the women in his life. Author Tracy Moore wrote that men who dress like their partners come off like they have an enormous degree of self-confidence and comfort in their particular brand of masculinity. Moore said that people like Pitt, who weren't afraid to mimic the style of their partners, project major admiration for them. She went on. In other words, they seem to be twinning because they're not just okay with themselves, but also in awe of the women they're with. It's as much a statement of unity and compatibility as it is respect. What's more, the writer concluded that to be influenced by someone is in many ways the biggest compliment you can pay them. You're saying in essence, I like you so much, I want to be a little or a lot like you. More men should like women so much they feel that way and aren't afraid to show it. But what of the women who were in Pitt's life? Well, only one of Pitt's ex-girlfriends has so far ever commented on the actor's odd fashion detail, and it was none other than Gwyneth Paltrow. Yes, in January 2019, she wrote an Instagram comment regarding the Brad, the man who likes to look like his girlfriend's post. She simply said, or we like to look like him. Let's face it.